just doesn't like me for some reason it's just not using a line so even if I go west uh, it's just I know I'm, I'm gonna encounter the wrong what basically what I hadn't planned hello I'm Marcus Gosling and yes I normally am this incoherent for the last few years my day job has been teaching chess to children in the southeast of England but then along came spring 2020 and life as we knew it began to crumble the daily grind of lockdown had been getting to me so I bought an exercise bike and in my parents' living room cycled the distance from Land's End to John O'Groats, the entire length of the UK, which is close to 1,000 miles, over the course of 60 days. The euphoria of putting such an abyss of time to good use made me restless to find my next ambitious and slightly quixotic challenge. It was around this time that I discovered a fabulous chap on YouTube called Tom Davies, better known by his alias Geo Wizard. This mad lad had recently gone viral on YouTube with his attempt in winter 2018 to become the first person to walk across an entire country in a straight line as the crow flies. That country was Wales. Since then, he has made attempts to cross Scotland, Norway, and has had a further two goes at Wales. This challenge, along with Tom's engaging on screen persona, was just the right level of craziness to occupy my mind through lockdown and make me promise myself that if we were to ever escape the demonic clutches of COVID, then I would give this challenge a go. In October 2021, I bought all the equipment I needed, including an inflatable kayak to cross a reservoir on my route, contacted GeoWizard for tips, and planned a route, which was 35 miles in length, that would take me from the Welsh border with England, near a place called Anchor, westwards to the coast near the town of Borth, in around five days. True to my word, I was doing this challenge and nothing was gonna stop me. Well, it's actually happening. I'm on my way to Wales. Nearly here now, getting towards Newtown. The, uh, the road signs are in Welsh, that is a good sign. We're here, in Newtown. But I needn't have looked so pleased with myself. Already things hadn't gone as planned, having left home several hours later than I intended, and facing a four hour drive to Wales, the race was on to arrive in Newtown on the Welsh border and find my start point by dusk. I failed. Having hitched a lift from Nick and Jev, two friends of friends who live in Newtown, this ominous shot shows me being dumped in the middle of nowhere and, contrary to what I believed, nowhere near my start point. I'm at the first camp point. So Nick and Jev have just dropped me off. They, um, two Welsh guys, really nice Welsh guys, they dropped me off in the middle of nowhere, right next to the start point. And I'm hopefully gonna start at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, dressed in full, knock off Greek Army camo, and, uh, well, my God, what am I doing? <laughs> See you in the morning. Oh, this is where I've slept. Seems to be pretty remote, to be honest. Um, I guess I guess go and find out in a sec. Well, God only knows where I am. 
dare I say it guys, I think I've actually found quite a decent spot to camp in. It's not, not actually that bad. It's a very quiet field. Literally not a sausage around. It's actually a beautiful landscape as well. I like this, uh, like this hill. Yeah. Nonetheless, probably better get out of here. One thing I haven't managed to do is find the start point yet. I've got my GPS working now, I hope, fingers crossed, but I've got to get there. And apparently it's about 900 metres away from where I've camped, which was not ideal. Nonetheless, I'm on my way. Oh yeah, what I didn't tell you guys is that I'm actually dressed in full Greek knockoff, Greek army gear. The reason for this is that if I am caught, then people, well, there's less, there's less chance of me getting caught, put it that way. Um, but to be honest, I haven't seen anyone, I've literally seen nobody. Um, also, you might wonder where I'm wearing these. It's because if I go through any sort of hedgerows or go over barbed wire fences, it's going to protect my eyes against any scratches and stuff or, or worse. So these are pretty, pretty useful. So before I can actually get to the mission itself, I've got to get to the start line. So you can see here my GPS, uh, hopefully you can see it. Um, and I've got to follow that little arrow on the on the screen um, and I've got to travel to the start point in order to get on on the line that I need so I'll check in in a bit so I just realized I've left my gloves by the side of the road about to go back half a kilometre in order to get them I'm such an idiot <sighs> so so frustrating and here they are Still not far away from the start point, but further than I was five minutes ago. Right guys, this is the border between England and Wales. Um, however, I'm still a little bit off. Oh, and I'm uh, about to be passed by a car. He's got no idea where I'm going. No idea whatsoever. Well, that makes two of us. So the GPS is telling me to go west to get to the start point. And, well, not sure if I quite fancy that. I'm gonna to have to find another, another way down, probably this way. Probably just go right down to the bottom. Okay guys, I'm officially at the start. And I've got to go that way, over the hill. But already I was about to make a serious mistake. In my haste to calibrate the GPS navigator late at night in a cramped tent in a random remote field, it's possible that I may have inputted the wrong coordinates. This would have huge consequences as I was unwittingly about to embark on a straight line route that was completely different to the one I had meticulously planned. Who knows what now might lie ahead? But first, my questionable agility skills that I've been honing in the gym were about to be put to the test. All right, first obstacle of the trip, this little stream and the fence at the top. It's gonna to be a bit tricky. I would actually stack it and fall in. <laughs> right, now this fence. Uh, guess I'll have to chuck the bag across.
that thing you can see is my life jacket by the way which didn't go in my bag so that's gonna go on the outside <laughs> can't tell you how heavy this is <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what you can't see in the footage is that my GPS cord had snagged on my backpack and by throwing the pack over the barbed wire fence I was actually strangling myself why is that that's the GPS. <laughs> uh, strangled by this GPS. <laughs> okay. No! Why stay there? <laughs> okay. right. uh, I'm up, I think. Sorry, sheep. Okay, well, that's one, and now the other. Oh, God. Oh, I've got a hook for that now. And this is falling out again. This is a disaster already. You can hear me just panting as well. So the pack is just so heavy. Right, into the second, into the first field I think. Second fence. <laughs> and this life jacket is doing my head in. Should have brought less stuff. But then for us, you know, five day, six day adventure, gonna need a lot of stuff. And uh, I was foolish. I didn't stash any of my, you know, any of my stuff. So I've got to pay the penalty. So I need to grab onto. Very undignified, but never mind. And I'll get over this thing. Should be easy enough, he says. Oh god. Oh. Right. Right. After a five minute break, <laughs> after getting over that fence, I'm going to start walking again. This is through a field. In order to succeed in my straight line mission, I had to avoid major deviations at all costs. Minor deviations for safety reasons would be deemed okay, as long as I didn't do so repeatedly. Here, I immediately come face to face with a herd of sheep, so I had to take a 10 metre detour. Animals are notoriously unpredictable, as I would also find out later on that day. I have to go around them. Well, I can't go through that. I have to go around these sheep. Just hope I don't get attacked. Sheep don't attack today. Surely. Definitely gone way off line already. I'm trying not to scare them. Sorry guys. Just have to go through this gate. Right. Try and get back on the line slightly. At least they can't be seen here apart from by the sheep. So I'm going to jump over the fence probably here. There's a house there. I don't really want to be in view of this house. It's just a nightmare. Too quick. That's a bog. Get off this guy's land. I 
and back online. Oh man, that was tough. Just about got through that without being seen, I think. But now I've got to get up <laughs> this hill. Uh, I, I'd be surprised if we've gone even half a mile. I'm knackered, <laughs> absolutely knackered. But there you go. I'm, I'm still doing it, so I'm still happy. Oh, this is steep. I don't know what the incline is on this, but <laughs> my legs are feeling it. Oh, I'm under no nose of this farm. Shit. It's going to have to be quick here. I'm just going to go straight. So I might just uh, go quickly here because I'm going to be seen otherwise. Let me think. Is anyone there? lights on. I'm going to have to be very very quick. Some early nerves creeping in there perhaps. Oh I'm out of view now. Thank god. Oh pretty close. Oh and day one's supposed to be the easiest day. I can't imagine what's in store for for the next four or five. I mean, at this rate, I think it can take me at least a week. Oh. <laughs> I wish I'd stashed. Really wish I'd stashed. Oh, some sort of lambing shed there. And I think this is perhaps, perhaps a river, luckily, which I'm not going down. Oh, and I've straight offline. So easy to do, especially on a, a slope. Oh, you can hear some dogs going mad. Yeah, they probably see me. Oh, or smoke me no like. Oh, and there's a car on a bike. Shit. see the cows. I reckon I might take these off because I'm just not seeing stuff quite as well. These are good for going over stuff like you know, going through forests and all that but uh, in terms of yeah in terms of just going over just normal land like this I mean it's steep land but it's not uh, not dangerous. Um, I'm just going to take it off. <laughs> anyway more to do that's where I've come from. I mean, <laughs> I can probably still see the start point. Um, yeah, sort of down in the valley, isn't it? Um, yeah, and uh, I've got to go up that hill um, and just sort of see what's on the other side. It's really steep. <laughs> I've got to say, with that pack, I am still really struggling. So, still a long way to go. So this is the gradient and also the terrain. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And just for a bit of fun, I, well, in the distance, a uh, farm. And uh, down there is where I've come from. Another farm. And the cows, which are still watching me. Oh, well, I've achieved something at least. I've uh, navigated my way up this, well, steep hill of bracken. I can only describe it as I think this is bracken. Um, but a love, lovely view, lovely, really, really nice view. Um, yeah, just taking a, a couple of minutes out. It's just been, it's been non-stop so far, and uh, yeah, I need the breather. That's for sure. Onwards. Oh, there's a couple of sheep there. Do you speak Welsh, do you? I am delighted because finally some downhill. <laughs> um, However, in the distance is obviously the uphill bit, which I'm not quite so excited about. Um, but yeah, a bit of respite, hopefully. Anyway, we'll see what's down there. It's 
a sheep skull. This is going to be what happens to me when I get caught I'm going for a few of the turnips. The bracken here is waist high. It's very, very thick. I can barely see what's down there. It's like going through a rainforest canopy, pretty much. Incredible. Just hope I'm not tramping on anything. <laughs> but I can't see. At least I'm close to the line. That's what's important, of course. Oh dear. So yeah, just to add to the uh, difficulties, <laughs> my shoelaces are just coming undone constantly. So yeah, sort of stopping every, you know, 500 meters in. Correcting them, yeah. Anyway, more bracken and then a lovely big incline. <laughs> okay, so now this bracken is just mental. I mean, look, it's taller than me, and I'm six foot four, so it's just ah, oh, it's just mental. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna get through it otherwise, just have to go straight through and hope for the best, really. <laughs> hope I don't get dragged under by some quicksand or whatever. I'm still going. It's a bloody nightmare this one. But, uh, I think I'm through most of it now at least. Oh, heading for this farm. I assume it's a farm. Not that you can actually see anybody. It's still a very spectacular view. And just look at that wedge as well that I'm sort of going down and up or up and down. Oh, I think I might be going straight over this gate, you know, or maybe close to it. Quite over the gate, according to my GPS, if you can see that. Um, yeah, I'm sort of a little bit off course, and to get back on. Oh, yeah. Oh, tough, tough stuff. I don't think it is actually possible for me to get through there. It's just uh, unbelievable bracken. Um, I'm just going to head down to that fence, which is about 10 meters away from the line, but I think it's probably a sacrifice I've got to make, but obviously difficult terrain so I have to be very very careful here so <laughs> here goes just gonna try and look at my feet if I can just make sure I don't end up in the twist of my ankle or something like that that would be bad at this point for sure okay I'm trying to get around this bit yeah okay well I've sort of avoided that bit I mean, it, this is just just mad. I just have to go up here, I think. Go back up that little path there, and I'll be through, I think, to that uh, that fence and perhaps the farm. So, there you go. This is tough. <laughs> All right, so this is the next terrain I've got to cross. You can see there, I think straight, pretty much straight on my line is a sort of pine, mini pine wood. I mean, it's like, a, I don't even know what you could call that. Um, but it's uh, looking tough. At least, though, I've got this sort of open area, technically, that I could take advantage of and make a bit of progress. Because it's been really tough getting, uh, yeah, this, this recent bit of bracken has been really hard. Uh, yeah, and over that massive hill, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. I, <laughs> I'm starting to get pretty knackered, especially with the bag. I'm just taking it off every five seconds. Yeah, it's tricky. Anyway. Onwards, small steep mountainous, like oh, more steep hills covered in bracken is <laughs> incessant, and uh, yeah, it's brutal at the moment, really brutal. Oh, just gotta keep on going. Oh, oh, oh my god, try and find a way through this. Excuse me Bracken, I'm coming through, no matter not what you might think. Oh, a nice gentle bit finally. Just stay on my line. Oh. I've got a, I think I've got a path in here vaguely, which is quite good. Steaming through these ones, but it's just uh, 
yeah, as you guys can see, it's relentless. Uh, yet again, I'm head height in Bracken. Uh, oh God, this is, this is, I think this is the worst bit yet. Oh man, this is absolutely punishing. I've just got to take a break. Oh, this bracken is just sapping my energy like like nothing. I mean, you can see it. I mean, it's just just incredible. I just need to get through this. <laughs> I need a Mars bar. Other chocolate bars are available. Oh, to make matters worse, I'm just stumbling through some gorse now. So, <laughs> so sorry, Heather, or whatever it was, Bracken. <laughs> um, uh, sorry what I said about you. You're not as bad as this guy, Gorse. I mean, I'm just hoping that that is not the same, you know, t terrain. I mean, it's bad enough going sort of sideways, but then going uphill in this is going to be nuts. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm still knackered. <laughs> That's a nice path you've got there. Shame if I were to go perpendicular to it. What are you looking at? I think it's the first time I think it might be an under, uh, under the barbed wire rather than over because, uh, well, there's a gap. Let's give it a go. God. No, bag off. <laughs> God. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no, please. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, you my god. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Take two. Get out. My bag's so heavy, I just can't even sit upright like a turtle. Oh, and I've snagged as well. Oh. Why do I do this? Okay, I think I'm out. Oh. 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 Jesus, <laughs> that's only a small one. Onwards. With the worst of the bracken seemingly behind me, I was finally settling into the task at hand, but suddenly I was confronted by an annoying problem, one that I had never foreseen in the planning stage, slippery shoelaces. Oh, this stream is a good reminder that <laughs> my, my boots are just full of water. Just insane. It feels like I'm, I've got trench foot already. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just feel really sodden. Um, so I'll get to a camp spot and change, but yeah, it's madness. And I've got to get up that. <laughs> Bloody hell. I did make it up, but <laughs> it was it was very stressful. Slipping. It's like, a, I don't even know what that is, maybe 45 degree angle with a massive backpack, slippery. I was just hanging onto these bits of bracken for my dear life. <laughs> and uh, well for once I can say thank you to the bracken rather than get out of the way um, and uh, well still got more to go up there just to give you guys an idea of what I'm actually dealing with <laughs> I've had to just take off my sock and uh, I'll, ring it, I'll ring it through now but it's just sodden <laughs> and uh, yeah I don't know how much more I can do of this it's just yeah, it's not very pleasant to walk on. Just have to keep on taking off my, my shoes and socks. <laughs> and also another thing, my GPS seems to be playing up a little bit. So I'm not even sure if I'm what, whether I'm following the line west of it or east of it or what. It's um, it's just pretty pretty difficult. And uh, I'm still going to go uphill in that bracken again. I think I just underestimated everything. I mean, it's just this line that I've chosen, if it indeed is the line, because I have a feeling as though I've not gone to the places that I was anticipating to visit. 
It had finally dawned on me that something had gone badly awry with the route I was supposed to be following. The terrain seemed much tougher than what I had foreseen. So it's possible I could have gone wrong somewhere, but I've just been following my GPS and my GPS has been... Terrible is the word I was looking for. We'll see what happens. I've got to keep on going for a bit at least. So I've got a problem that the line keeps on disappearing on my GPS. So just, I just don't know where I'm going. There's no, there's no line there. Those are the coordinates there and they, they're not telling me where to go. So uh, yeah, this is just, just a bit of a disaster so far. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Just have to keep on going west and see what happens, I think. See how it goes. Finally, a nice bit of terrain, which is great. Um, however, my GPS is still, still not functioning properly. I've got it now, so that I'm just going, going west. I mean, the thing is, technically, I, have, I should have a line on there telling me, like there. There's a little triangle, but there's no line, and it, it just it keeps malfunctioning. So, at the moment, I'm just going to go west, try and get to the coast. That's the. Uh, the challenge. I mean, it's uh, similar to what well, it is a straight line mission. I'm just going to follow um, the point west. With my GoPro battery running out and my enthusiasm for the expedition quickly waning, off camera I came face to face with a suspicious horse. Every time I tried to go round it, it followed me, blocking my path. With the horse seemingly skittish and fearing a little for my safety in such a remote area, I was forced more than 100 metres off course. With the straight line mission now completely scuppered and my GPS navigator starting to really take the mick, I was forced into a heartbreaking early decision. Guys, I think this might well be it. I've made two mistakes. <laughs> well, one mistake um, in that my pack is just, I cannot physically carry it more than about 100 yards without having to put it down again. It's just killing my back. Um, and what's more, the GPS just doesn't like me for some reason it's just not using a line so even if I go west uh, it's just I know I'm, I'm gonna encounter the wrong what basically what I hadn't planned so I don't know I think my morale is already at zero <laughs> then came my inevitable resignation it's game over it's game over this early I, I'm so gutted but it's just that the my uh, my Garmin just it unfortunately it just won't show me the line that I want to go on and um, that's obviously not great uh, the problem is though that um, <laughs> my my food bag is also <laughs> my food has exploded basically I was stupid enough to get some uh, pot noodles and um, because my bag is just so heavy um, I mean I, literally I, I can barely pick it up um, I've, I've had to keep on throwing uh, the bag over fences, like these barbed wire fences. I can't physically go over on my own. I have to throw them over and it's taking me just about my, all my effort to get over them. And uh, yeah, and I, obviously I've, I've messed it up. So um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really gutted because I was really, I was doing well. I was keeping to the line um, for about two miles, but then just all hell broke loose and I mean, it was raining earlier and uh, it's just, my shoes I think uh, are just completely like, that. I'm not sure they're waterproof because uh, you know, you can see they're just completely damp. All inside my boots are damp. Um, so yeah, I, uh, it feels like I'm really chickening out, which I, believe me, I'm not. But <laughs> it's just been one disaster after another, ma mainly because I haven't got enough food uh, my, my bag is just ridiculously heavy. I, I, I mean, I thought it was a problem earlier. I thought I was going to get through it, but it's just, you know, it just just hasn't been hasn't been possible. And uh, so my back's killing me. And to make matters worse, um, it's getting dark. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and try and find somewhere to, to sleep, maybe get to a pub or something. Um, but it's not over. I'm gonna try and. Um, you know, try and get to the coast somehow, but I'm probably not going to do it in a straight line. So I'm, I'm super gutted, really am, and uh, it's taking a lot of planning this, but obviously just not enough. It was all down to my, like the technology failing on me, the um, 
you know, just not enough food. So poor planning on my part and just, it's just a mixture of things. And I kind of underestimated the challenge, I think. Um, you know, watching GeoWizard do it online is, uh, it almost makes it look, makes it look easy. Um, and it's not. You can see what, what's happened after about two miles. So I've, you know, after 35 miles, I, I couldn't imagine. Um, I was going very, very slow pace. And, uh, you know, just, I wouldn't have made it in five days. I probably wouldn't have made it in eight or nine days. And um, I've only got a certain time window. So I've had to pull the plug, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm really gutted. Uh, so I guess I'll see you at the pub. But I needn't have been quite so jovial. I discovered that the nearest village was over seven miles away. With a backpack weighing well over 20 kilos, my back and shoulders were about to suffer further ignominy. So I'm now walking down Country Lane. I've had to book a hotel for the night. And uh, well, it's about seven miles and about two and a quarter hours with this massive backpack. So yeah, certainly gonna have a well-earned rest when I get there. So I'm using my head torch. Nearly there guys. Oh, it's been a hell of a walk. Two and a half hours with a massive, massive backpack. Ah, just so glad I'm here. <laughs> Is this worse than Mission Across Wales? <laughs> Say punishment for not for not doing it. Oh. Oh. We're here. I don't believe it. After several painful hours of blundering around in the dark, the sight of refuge was a welcome relief. My back, shoulders and feet would suffer the consequences, but I made it to the end of quite possibly the most physically gruelling day of my entire life. Ooh. Thank Christ for that. It's good night from me. But for the sake of completion, the following day I travelled to the coast to check out my intended destination and what could have been. So this is the place I would have got to had I been braver and much more prepared. Um, it was 35 miles, I made it back to 